Marks in a one, Brian Power zero. In other words, the Yankees won game one of the ALCS last night, as we pretty much thought they would. Game two is tonight. We'll have two selections for you, and we do a little Tuesday college football as well, scraping the bottom of the barrel in Conference USA. Mark Zeno, I'm sure you cannot wait to do the show today to make fun of me as Carlos Rodon pitched much better than expected, and the Yankees uh, go on to win 5-2. Your thoughts on this fine Tuesday? I hate Aaron Boone managing this team. I despise him as a person. I wish he was not the manager of the New York Yankees. It's so infuriating to watch. That said, uh, it, the only thing more infuriating than Aaron Boone is watching the Yankees continue not to get hits at runners in scoring position as they went O for mother bleeping six last night. That game should have been like an eight to two final. Like it should have been over by the third inning. And I will say I told you so on two accounts. One, I told you so that if Rodon got through three, he was going to get through five because he was on. He was on. Like, I didn't like how he was elevating in the first inning. And a lot of those balls were up in the zone. I'm like, that could be bad, but he was getting guys out. And so settled in nicely. And then, uh, I told you, if you could lay one and a half with the home team and it wouldn't be a problem. Uh, if you bought my package yesterday, I, I bet the Yankees, um, minus one and a half that cash and look, little pat on the back. If you really paid attention to yesterday, and I told you the, the, the Juan Soto numbers against Alex Cobb, uh, over a half on total basis hit in the first inning, over one and a half, which I played last night personally, hit in the second inning when he hit that bomb out to right center field. So uh, those are free other free things that we just threw out at you guys that all ended up cashing yesterday. So it was a profitable night for the morning wager, um, which is good for us because sometimes, you know, what happens at night, uh, we don't want to talk about the next morning. But on this show, we can talk about the things that happen at night the next morning. So um, happy to see yes, the Yankees get a win. And um, I I still hate this whole team. It's not fun to watch. Yes, two and one again yesterday. We just keep going two and one every day. And true to form, we are now 40 and 20, 67%. That is basically going two and one every day for... Uh, you know, I, I wonder why we, you and I haven't like invested in our own picks on this show on a daily basis. Well, <laughs> on that note, Which stay tuned. Stay tuned because my lone client selection in MLB for Tuesday is coming up. I'm going to give that for free here on Game 2 in just a little bit. I think the reason that the Cleveland Guardians lost last night was because of one man and one man only. No, not rookie Cantillo, but uh, Ron Darling. Terrible announcer. You know, um, I I said this much, and you know I don't really get on announcers that much, but I was texting my— I'm big on announcers. My my group of friends who are, you know, we're all Yankee fans. We have, like, a thread going, and I said— uh, Ron Darling or Bob Costas for nine innings during a Yankee playoff game. If you put a gun to my head, I'd choose the bullet. My God, it's very dark. Yes, Let's, we need to I, we need to lighten this program up. Let's get into some selections just, here. Let's get into some okay. selections for Game Two. That was very, very. You took us to a very dark place there. I was just going to say that the guy ruined the chemistry between Brian Anderson and Jeff Francoeur, and you're choosing death over listening to Rod Darling. My God, it happened. All right, so uh, Garrett Cole is on the mound today, tonight yes. for New York. He is he is the uh, the ace of the Yankees staff, but you think he may not rack up as many strikeouts as expected against this Guardians lineup. No. Um, so, you know, Cole in his last outing against Kansas City um, only struck out four. In his first outing against Kansas City in the playoffs, only struck out four. In fact, you got to go back to September 20th, the last time he struck out more than five batters in an outing. And if you look at his, his um, you know, numbers throughout the year, I mean, he has not been the same K-rate guy that we're used to seeing coming off the injury and getting a late start to the year. That's number one. The Guardians, number two. Now, on the season, the Guardians overall uh, were bottom five in K rate on the year. On the road this year, they were bottom three in K rate. If you go the last month of the season on the road, they were second lowest in K rate. Uh, When I'm talking about bottom five, I mean like the the lowest K rate percentage. So um, they strike, don't strike out all that much. What happened to the Guardians last night with nine strikeouts is probably more of the anomaly than it is the consistent part. Uh, Rodon was good. The Guardians were not. I think we saw that. But again, this is Garrett Cole, who, oh, by the way, back in September, or was it August? Let me double check. It was 
back in August, went six innings, gave up one hit, walked five Guardians in the game, and only struck out two. And that was a start at Yankee Stadium. So um, this number at five and a half, I think some of that may be a little bit inflated, given what we saw last night. But I don't think Cole um, is going to strike out six batters. If he does, guess what, buddy? Uh, your Guardians are dead as a doornail, right? As they said in Sandlot, yeah. you're dead as a doornail, snobs. You're dead as a doornail, smalls. So um, anyway, let's go Garrett Cole under five and a half strikeouts here tonight uh, in the Yankees-Guardians game two. All right. Smash that like button if you're rolling with Zinno there on the under K prop for Garrett Cole. Uh, speaking of unders, my half mm. of the double play for tonight is the under in the game. Under seven. Uh, did cash my luck. This is a client play, Mark Zinno, for me. It's 3% release. Um, I won I my only client that. release. I, I make hard to cut you off. I will add, I, I apologize, but that I am making the Garrett Cole a client play as well. So for the okay, audience. Okay, there we go. Yeah. What? what? How that. generous are we, by the way? Just giving out client plays here on the morning mm-hmm. wager. Handing out my, winners. My, yes, handing out winners. Uh, I did cash a 4% best bet. Yesterday for clients with the Mets as a underdog, plus 127. So let's see if we can make it two in a row. ALCS game two tonight. Uh, Look, uh, I worry about the Guardians scoring runs here uh, in this game. Obviously, you ran through their struggles at the plate last night. Uh, This is a lineup that was just 23rd in baseball, Mark, in runs per game on the road. And Cole... Okay, maybe he doesn't rack up the strikeouts tonight, but you're talking about a guy who's on three or runs or less, 11 of his last 12 starts. Against the Royals in the LDS, he goes seven innings. He allowed just the one run. And the Yankees' bullpen, Mark, I know that you don't like the way Aaron Boone manages it, per se. I like but, Aaron Boone. Well, okay, that's, that sounds like a, a different story for a different day. But here's the deal with the Yankees' bullpen, okay? They've only given up one run in the playoffs. It was the solo homer last night to Brian Rocchio. So... I think the Yankees' bullpen, which has been pretty well rested, it's in good shape. Cole should do his job. Now, the good news for my Guardians is that de facto ace Tanner Bybee's on the mound. He's pitched better on the road than a progressive field all season. You're talking about a 2.76 ERA on the road versus 4.15 at home. Two starts against Detroit in the LDS. Bybee allowed just two runs in eight and two-third innings. And the one positive for Cleveland last night coming out of the game, Mark, was – all the high leverage arms in the bullpen got the night off. And it was a much needed night off after they were overused in the Tiger series. As you know, the Guardians had the best bullpen ERA in baseball by a mile over half a run uh, in the regular season. The Yankees, you, you know better than anybody, their woes with uh, hitting with runners in scoring position. Cantillo gifted them uh, a couple runs with some wild pitches. I like the under seven. Tonight in Guardians Yankees. That is my half of the double play. That is a client play to go along with Mark taking Garrett Cole under five and a half strikeouts. Let us know how you're betting ALCS game two down in the comments section below, Mark. And I guess we have a decision to make because yesterday we put it to the commenters about how, uh, what we should put up between these are our two favorite team, our, our respective yes. favorite teams. And what should, should we come to some sort of agreement here on the program? Because the commenters made many suggestions yesterday. Yeah, uh, what we listen, no, one's shaving, no one's shaving their head, okay? So no. we appreciate it. Zero uh, chance I would do that. Zero. We're not going to do that. I mean, people have mentioned wearing a jersey or whatever, or the entire loser spends an entire week keeping effusing praise on their colleagues before any statement. I liked that one. Open. I liked that you one. Know, that was pretty good. Before we get to speak, you know, BP would have to say, well, Mark Zen, I think you're one of the finest human beings I've ever met in my life. And then you could start your analysis and – uh, every time I would interrupt you, you would have to re-throw a compliment at me uh, every time we start, which, you know, for a whole week would be really annoying for the wager talk, uh, morning wager audience. Okay. But uh, Good point. that one was kind of fun. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we, we have to come up with something here. Uh, I We appreciate all the examples. Keep throwing them in the comment section here today. We're going to do something before we get the game, you know, five of the series when it's over. Um, but nonetheless, you know, loser I'm was not a getting a tattoo yet. either. No, he's not getting. He's not getting a tattoo. Good. What am Brian I going to get? Barbed wire. What am I going to get? A barbed wire cry. on my arm. I'd look like an asshole. You would cry. This. You would cry at a tattoo. This guy called me up yesterday because he stubbed his toe to tell me how much pain he was in. Oh, I'm playing hurt. I'm playing hurt on the show today. I am playing hurt I mean, on the show. Seriously, 
you you are a maxi pad. Like that's how soft you are. I'm, I'm playing hurt today, man. Oh, you called me. You call. <laughs> I'll give you my thoughts. All right. I'm going for a nice walk before the game, the Mets game yesterday. All right. I come at you. Call me ranting and raving about the board, the college football board on Saturday. My wife starts ranting and raving about this clam bake we've got coming up. I have to pee so bad. I throw the bathroom <laughs> door open. It goes over my toe. I lost skin. I'm playing hurt today. I don't want to hear anything about it. I'm very injured. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, look, uh, you, you need to actually grow a pair of, uh, those things called testicles and man up because okay. right now you don't have any. So when you get them, you I'm can come back the to the rest of society. I understand that. But, um, you know, I expect by tomorrow you'll find your balls, um, somewhere in the house. They might be next to the skin where right? your toe is on the floor. Uh, when you started crying like a little girl back you to the uh, regularly scheduled, we will, we will, we will okay. come up with some sort of, uh, wager here for, yes. for the, the, and we will agree we'll on tweet it, it again. Out. No. We'll tweet it out. We'll tweet it out. Yeah. We'll tweet it. We'll, we'll figure out what the wager is before the series is over. We promise. But keep the comments coming down below on what you guys think would be a good wager. I mean, yes, we could do the Jersey thing. But, you know, right now, heaping effusing praise, just because I like saying the word effusive, um, you know, uh, that could be on the, the clubhouse other person. Leader. Oh, it, it is the clubhouse leader at this point in time, but we are open to other suggestions. So uh, there is that. Last day for comments. And by the way, let's not bury the lead here today, Mark. I think the most important thing we should mention is that it is $5 Tuesday at wagertalk.com. Both you and I have our plays locked and loaded. They are, look, they are, you know, for plays later in the week in college football. The stars aligned, if you will, last week because, correct me if I'm wrong, your $5 play was Iowa. 5%, baby. And it was a five, five my five dollar play was also Iowa. It was a four percent. Look, it didn't matter what each of us rated. They won forty to sixteen. Okay, they kicked Washington's ass. Yeah. So uh, that was good. And you and I, I you. they are not the same. Not the same plays this week. But you and I both have no. five dollar plays available at our respective In college pages. football. Yes, uh, yeah. love the college card this week. I, 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 the reason why you stubbed your toes because I had to call you to tell you how excited I was about the college card this week. Um, yes. I mean, it's a list. There's like nine games on there, and I'm like, okay, I find these all playable. Now I just got to narrow it down. But yeah, um, so I have my 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 four percent best bet on five dollar Tuesday is a college play that I just love. love. Yeah, and it, uh, I, mean, love I it. also love I also love the college football card this week. I was telling Dan Alexander that before the show. And that's a good thing because Mark, you know, not, not to pat myself on the back, I've won no, nine straight in college football. I've won, yeah, nine straight college football winners. We're going for 10, I mean, and this, it's just this be, this, $5 this be the dollars to get this on board. Be the bet. Here is the bet. Oh, no. I want to do this. Oh, no. If the Yankees oh, win, no. you are not allowed to tout your record for the rest of the calendar year. Oh, no, come on. That, that's my, my job. What? That's my job. <laughs> that's the best one. You cannot mention – I can mention your record, and I can bring it up to you so you can respond to it. You cannot unprompted mention your record. I think that should be the bet. Well, what are you putting and, on the line? Do you, do you want to know what I why I never mentioned my record? <laughs> I can tell you. <laughs> do you want to tell the morning wager audience? I think you're one of the finest people of all time, Mark. Yeah, all go, right, yeah, let's yeah. go. Let's okay, there, we're getting ready for Latin, uh, for next week. Anyway, um, okay, so let's, look, go to wt.buzz slash mz, wt.buzz slash bp. A five, just five dollars, guys, to get a college football play. Both Mark and I have been running hot. I mean, look. I'll tell you, you're, you're what, uh, six and one the last two Saturdays in college football? Yes, yes. Um, there you six go. and one, yeah, over the last two Saturdays. So we're, we're getting locked in on college, so that's good. NFL okay. still, and still around 500. It's getting very annoying. Well, well, that's a different story for a different day. Let's talk about Tuesday college football for our show <laughs> best bet. I mentioned this earlier. Uh, we are really scraping the bottom of the college football barrel with some of these matchups on Tuesday. One in con uh, in the Sun Belt, a.k.a. the mm -hmm. Fun Belt. Two in Conference USA. And, Mark, we were talking before the show, trying to come up with what the best bet would be, and I dropped this trend on you for Louisiana Tech, New Mexico State. Since 2020, Louisiana Tech has been a road favorite on seven different occasions. Would you like to know their record? In those games, sure. everybody. It is not only 0-7 against the spread, it is 0-7 straight up. Sonny Cumbie looking for answers in Ruston. 
Mark Zinno, we got to take the points with New Mexico State and the boys from Las Cruces, do we not? Yes. Uh, I love that you said Las Cruces because I wanted to say that. But nonetheless, look, if you look at New Mexico State on the surface, it all looks bad, right? Um, there is nothing Cruces about the Cruces. Uh, that said, I know they've gotten their ass kicked on the road. If you look at their road games, 48 nothing at Fresno, 31-11 at Sam Houston, 54-13 to at Jacksonville State. However, comma, their home games, a 23-16 win over Southeast Missouri State, which I don't even know what that is, um, a six-point loss against Liberty, and a 10-point loss against New Mexico, who is not from Las Cruces. Um, Albuquerque. From Albuquerque. Yeah, that's what I thought. A-L-B-U-Q-U-E-L-B-U-R-Q-U-E-Q-U-E, I think it is. Anyway, I don't know how to spell oh, it. Boy. Albuquerque. Nonetheless, uh, they, they can keep this close. When we're getting more than 10 points here uh, as a home dog, as ugly as this is, um, it pr- probably looks like Brian Powers' toe right now. We're going to back up the, uh, <laughs> the Aggies here at home to do this. By the way, let's also give ourselves another pat on the back. The Josh Allen anytime touchdown prop was fantastic last night as our, our show best bet. That's the second time we have given an anytime touchdown that scored on the first drive they touched the ball. Um, so that was a good winner. And I took it one step further, and I showed you the ticket on this. I've I, seen it. On my own book last night, bet Josh Allen as the first touchdown scorer, plus 575, and cashed a nice little number last night. So I was very happy. So good job to us. Good job. I hope you guys all tailed the Josh Allen prop. Um, and, uh, and and put a little little coin in your pocket. Despite the fact that we were 2-1 and one because you didn't want to listen to me about Carlos Rodon, you dummy. It would have been 3-0. Oh. Finally would have broke the 2-1 and one streak. It's Ron Darling's fault. Oh. <laughs> the but best is, you guys missed it. Last night, the fifth inning has started. Carlos Rodon is cruising. Power, Brian Power texts me. I think he should do the honorable thing and take himself out. <laughs> Shut up. Would have been good. Would have been better. All right. <laughs> We're taking the points with New Mexico State. I could read off all these results. Uh, Louisiana Tech is a road favorite. I mean, they lost outright a couple weeks ago uh, at FIU. is only a a two-and-a-half point favorite. They've lost outright. uh, They were not a road favorite at all last year, Mark. But in 2022, they were a road favorite uh, twice. They lose outright at Charlotte. They lost outright at FIU again. Uh, 2021, they lost outright at Rice. I mean, this is a real rogues gallery of college football. I mean, the bottom line is this. Louisiana Tech, even when they're facing terrible teams, loses outright as a road favorite. So give me the points yeah. with the Aggies of New Mexico State. Give us the points, and that is our show best bet. Let us know how you're betting college football on Tuesday down in the comments section below. Last day for submissions for what Mark and I should uh, bet. For the ALCS, our gentleman's wager. If you haven't subscribed yet to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, why? What is your problem, quite frankly? Uh, I I don't know why you wouldn't have done that. Uh, And uh, yeah, I just, I just don't know why you. I I really, I don't know. I mean, I could come up with a a multitude of reasons, but I, I feel I've said them all before. You should be subscribed to this YouTube channel. And if you enjoy this program, please smash that like button. We always appreciate the support. That's gonna do it for the morning wager here on Tuesday. Hopefully game two for me is hey, better than game one in the ALCS. And uh, we'll talk no, about not. that tomorrow. That's fine. Oh, no. Hey, tell your friends. Tell your friends about the show. Tell them to like and subscribe. Tell them that uh, not only is this program informative and we, we cash at 67%, but uh, yeah, it's entertaining too. And I get to make fun it of is. Brian Power for 20 minutes every day. That's fun for me. I'm, I hope I can walk. Tomorrow. That's all I that's all I'm hoping for. All right. <laughs> what if what if the bet is you can't mention your your uh your your record and I can't make fun of you if if you win? That's not a bad one. Yeah. That's not a bad one. Yeah, I know I'll, I'll, I'll I'll take it under advisement. I'll I'll yes, ask my I will I'll, 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 I'll have to retire this voice until twenty twenty five when we talk about run differential and laying one and a half with the home team. Guardians aren't going to win this series. I'm screwed. All right, everybody. (laughs) Have a great Tuesday. Talk to you tomorrow.